All right, so I have a real estate topic of the day. This will probably not be a very popular real estate topic, but let's be honest, we're all gonna die. Okay, I hope not today, I hope not tomorrow, I hope, you know, like the Kenny Chesney song, I'm not ready today, but I know I'm gonna die. So, if we're all gonna die at some point, I don't want you to die without a will. If you own any kind of property, please get a will. In the last 24 hours, I've had two different conversations with two different sets of people about somebody who, the first person was young, very young. They died a couple weeks ago. They did not have a will, but they had a house that they lived in that they were making mortgage payments on. If you buy a house, it should be required that you have a will because we're all gonna die. You need to have a will. If you buy one house or you buy 10 houses, you need to have a will. The will needs to be broad enough to maybe specify that you have these houses, but that you buy other houses and any houses that you have any kind of connection in needs to be labeled who is going to get that house when you die. It's not if you die, it's when you die. Um, my will, I do have a will, and I'm 31, my brother is 27, we both have a will, we've had a will since we bought our very first property because we're going to die. I hope not very soon. But if and uh, when we die, not if, because we're going to die, this is not a happy topic, I'm sorry. I wore yellow so it would be nice and bright though. Okay, so when you die, your property has to go somewhere. Somebody has to be able to sign off on it, okay? And my will says, when I die, Tyler, my brother, is in charge. Okay? When I die, Tyler is in charge. And that's on every property. My will is pretty open that says, you know, if I buy a new property tomorrow, it goes to Tyler. If I bought a property three years ago, it goes to Tyler. Now, I could update it every time that I bought a new property to say that 123 Main Street goes to Tyler and 456 Oak Street goes to Tyler and blah, 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 blah. But I buy a lot of properties, y'all. Okay? So mine just says any property that I'm in on goes to Tyler for right now. My will also says that once I have children, when I die, it goes to my children, but Tyler is in charge of it until my children become of age. Okay? So that gets a little sticky, but I don't have any kids right now. If you have kids, that's cool. You can will it to your children. Totally cool, totally awesome. If your kids are under age, you probably need to will it to somebody until they are of age. But you need a will. Because if you die intestate and you don't have a will, it is a disaster for the banks, for the attorneys, for the county clerk, for your heirs, for your loved ones, for your children, for your fiancés, for your people, for everybody that you're going to leave here on earth. It is a disaster. You need a will. You need a will. If you're buying property, I personally think that you should sign a purchase and sale agreement and the next pen stroke should be a will. Sign that thing, okay? Update it periodically. If you buy a lot of houses and you want these three to go to this person and these three to go to that person and these three to go to somebody else, put it in your will or it don't count. So you can have a will per property or you can have kind of an open will that says anything that I own goes to this person. If they die at the same time I do, it goes to this person. Okay, but get a will. Do not die in test date. Test date sound, uh, says that I have a will. In test date says that I died without a will. Okay, I hate to come across properties that the people have died in test date because, I mean, it's like buying a foreclosure process. There's just way too much work to get it done. You can get a will, you can get one online, but you could also just call an attorney and get a regular kind of open blank copy will for a couple hundred bucks. Test date means that you have a will. And whether it's good, bad, or ugly, you have some paperwork that people can file 
to follow what your wishes were, okay? Intestate means that you do not have a will, and basically the government, the state, gets your stuff. And then the government and the state gets to decide and fight over and collect your real estate. So it's real easy. It's going to take a couple hours. Call up some attorneys. Get yourself a will. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down somewhere. Have somebody notarize it. Have somebody sign it. Have somebody agree that they saw that this is what you wanted. Because we're all going to die. I love y'all. I really do. But we're going to die. Get yourself a will. Get yourself protected. Get yourself in order. Because the Lord can take any of us at any time. We don't know when he's going to call us back. Get yourself a will. Um, I talked to a guy last night. Uh, the will can cover your LLC? Absolutely, yes. It can say that anything and everything in this LLC, you, get, get with your attorney on that. All I want you to do is get a will. I don't really care how detailed you get it. I don't, I don't care. But today... While you are living and breathing and the Lord is blessing you beyond belief, go get yourself a will. Get yourself a will. Yes, we're all going to die. I hope and pray that it's not today. But get yourself a will, okay? A friend of mine, a very close family friend of mine was 27. He was in a car wreck, freak accident, and the Lord called him home on his way home from work. He was supposed to get married this coming up Saturday, and two weeks ago, he died in a car crash going home. He was leaving work. Um, he was actually going to park his trailer at the house, at the shop, at the wherever, go pack his bag, hop on a plane, go to Vegas for his bachelor party. I mean, like, his plans for the next 12 hours was to get off work, go take a shower, pack his bags, and get on the plane for his bachelor party. And his brother was in Florida flying to Tennessee so they could all fly to Vegas together. And they called his brother while he was on his way to Tennessee to say, you're not going to Vegas, we're going to a funeral. This kid was 27. He had a house. He had a mortgage. But he did not have a will. And he was my brother's age. My brother golfed with him. He was a very close family friend of mine. Okay, so go get yourself a will. Go get yourself a will.